What is going on guys and welcome to today's video. Today is going to be a back on track vlog because your girl just got back from Miami and I indulged a lot. My entire diet consisted of like 99.98% carbs, not enough protein, and I did a decent job at eating vegetables though. So today we're gonna be jumping back on track. I have some goals that I wanna crush. I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys in a couple weeks, just give me about like a week or two. My face definitely did not like all the gluten, so sorry about that. But today I'm gonna to be eating my regular meals, more protein, because I definitely didn't get enough of that. We're gonna get in an awesome workout. I'm actually gonna be filming for my exercise library today, which means I'm gonna be doing like 80 plus exercises. I did a bunch of it yesterday. We're gonna do more today. Definitely not gonna be even close to finished, but I'm really excited for this project. I am recording an exercise library of absolutely every single exercise I could possibly think of for my clients, so it's like a huge database for them to just go check it out if they are unsure of proper form or what an exercise is. So this is gonna be so exciting. So I'm gonna share one of the workouts with you guys. I'll make it into a workout. I'm not exactly sure which one yet, but you guys will know by the title of this video. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. If you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up as it just really helps to support the channel. And I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. So let's just get right to it. Gotta get ready, gotta go to the gym. <laughs> Breakfast this morning is 30 grams of oatmeal cooked with a little bit of water and almond milk and then I have 20 grams of almond butter there. I ran out of blueberries so I have to go get that for my last meal that I've been enjoying. And then I have some egg whites on the side. What is going on guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be taking you through some tricep exercises to tighten up those back of the arms and make them look tight and toned. Let's go. Welcome to today's workout commentary everybody. Today we are solely going to be focusing on just the triceps. So this is going to be the back of the arms and we're gonna make them tight and toned and defined because let's be honest, your arms are your best accessory whenever you're wearing a tank top, a sports bra, a dress. So let's get them tight and toned. I always like to start off my exercises with some body weight movements. So for this workout, I started off with some tricep push-ups on the bench and then I moved into some single Single arm tricep kickbacks. So as you can see, I'm doing 10 pounds, but I'm making sure to have full control over the weight the entire time and not just swinging it. If you're using lighter weight, slow down the movement and really focusing on that mind to muscle connection. And if you feel like it's too light, then up the weight, but never sacrifice form. So I superset the the single arm tricep kickback with this double arm overhead tricep extension and I did higher reps for this one just because it was a bit easier using both of my arms. You'll find all the reps and the sets in the description box below so that you guys can screenshot this workout and try it on your own. Next up, I moved into some dumbbell skull crushers. So what you want to do here is keep your elbows fixed in place and just bend your arms at the elbow, lowering the weight towards your face and then extending back up using your tricep. And then we're gonna superset that with some tricep bench press. So it's quite similar to the chest press, but you're using a neutral grip to focus on that tricep work. Then we're gonna move into a superset on the cables. So I did the cable rope tricep push down. Whenever you're doing any push downs or actually any movements in general for the triceps, you wanna make sure that your elbows are locked at your side, especially when it comes to cable movements because that is the way that you're going to actually activate the tricep. It is a smaller muscle, so you wanna make sure that you're keeping your elbows locked at your side and just using the tricep to move the weights. So then I superset that with the overhead cable rope tricep extension. It's a really easy superset just to flip around and do the second exercise and then turn back around to 
repeat it again. And for the last exercise in this workout, we're going to be doing a burnout with body weight tricep dips. So there are two ways that you can do this with your feet in the tabletop position or with your legs extended out in front of you, which is more advanced. Do this until failure. Post-workout is going to be one scoop of my favorite protein, the 1UP Natural Chocolate Vegan Protein Powder. I love it. I say this all the time because of the ingredients. You literally cannot beat that. So I have one scoop and I put about a cup, a little more than a cup of almond milk in it. And then I'm gonna fill up the rest with water. And then I'm gonna eat some fresh blueberries that I just picked up on the side. Lunch is ready. Oh my gosh, you guys, this looks delicious. And this is a huge, huge salad. Like, it's really big. <laughs> so what I have in here is some Brussels sprout and like broccoli slaw with some spring mix, some raw onion, some cucumbers, some pan fried green beans, some pan fried uh, chickpeas that I prepped yesterday. There's some strawberries some red peppers in there. Yeah, it's basically gonna be delicious. And then on the side, I don't like to eat them together. I don't know, when I make my salmon myself and it's not like from a restaurant, I don't want it on my salad. So I'm gonna have 70 grams of sockeye salmon on the side. Eating one of these bad boys today. I'm so excited. I just got a new fresh box. The chocolate marshmallow is my favorite flavor. There is no preservatives. It's not baked. There's no sucralose and it's gluten free, you guys. It's so, so good. I know a lot of people are gonna wonder about the ingredients. So there you go. Fitting this in to my macros today, 240 cal, seven fat, 30 carb, and 20 protein. Yum. What is up you guys? All right, back home from the gym now. Oh, that was an exhausting day. I have a visitor now too. I picked him up. He's gonna be with me for the weekend. Let me introduce you guys. Hi Thor. Hi, say hi to YouTube. Say hi, YouTube. I'm a pretty boy. I'm a good boy. This is Thor, Dog of Thunder. And I'm the freaking cutest. And I'm staying with Auntie Randy this weekend. I'm staying with Auntie Randy. <laughs> so my girl, Sierra, went to the Olympia. And I get to hang out with Thor all weekend. So I just picked him up. And I'm going to have him until Monday. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna get lots of steps together and lots of fun. All right, you guys, dinner is served. I have some asparagus and green beans cooked in a little bit of olive oil, some Dijon honey mustard with some raw mushrooms. I just like to dip it in the mustard, like chips kind of. Am I weird? I know I'm weird. And then we have some salmon. Can we just take a second to appreciate the beauty of this meal? I look forward to it every single day. I have it at nighttime, pretty much my last meal. It's a little bit over a cup of egg whites with sprinkled with stevia, fresh blueberries, and almond butter. Oh, 